With the third conditional, we talk about the past. We talk about a condition in the past that did not happen. That is why there is no possibility for this condition. The third conditional is also like a dream, but with no possibility of the dream coming true. Last week, you bought a lottery ticket, but you did not win. If I had won the lottery, I would have bought a car. Notice that we are thinking about an impossible past condition. You did not win the lottery, so the condition was not true. And that particular situation can never be true because it is finished. Let's work on another example to understand the meaning of the third conditional better. What would have happened if the Titanic hadn't sunk? Well, firstly, the great ship would have sailed on strong and continued to its final destination. We might then ask ourselves, what would have happened if the Titanic had made it to New York? It is very possible that those looking to find a whole new life in the USA would have fulfilled their dreams. As we can see from the examples, we are using the third conditional to picture a different past. The language we use is hypothetical or imaginary. We use the past perfect tense to talk about the impossible past condition, I mean the if clause. We use would have plus past participle to talk about the impossible past result, which is the main clause. If she had studied, she would have passed the exam. But really, we know she didn't study, so she didn't pass. If plus past perfect. Do you remember how do we formulate the past perfect? Subject, had, past participle. For the main clause, subject, would have, past participle. If I hadn't eaten so much, I wouldn't have felt sick. But I did eat a lot, so I did feel sick. I have used negative structures for both the if clause and the main clause. Hadn't, wouldn't. The important thing about the third conditional is that both the condition and result are impossible now. As with all conditionals, you can also invert this structure. Would have plus past participle if plus past perfect. And in this form, there is no need for a comma. I wouldn't have missed the meeting if you told me about it. We often use the third conditional to express regrets, describing things we are sorry happened or didn't happen. For example, if I had studied harder, I'd have passed the exam. I'm expressing my sadness or disappointment over something that I haven't done. The word would is often contracted to apostrophe D by native speakers. It's also acceptable to use this in informal writing. However, in formal written English, we are not allowed to use contractions. One important point to mention is that for the result, instead of would, we can also use certain models. Pay attention to these examples. If she had gone to university, she would have become a teacher. We've already practiced this structure when using would. What is the meaning? It means, if she had gone to university, it is certain that she would have become a teacher. There is no doubt about it. We are 100% sure. If she had gone to university, she might have become a teacher. This means, if she had gone to university, it is not certain that she would have become a teacher. Maybe she would have become a teacher. Maybe she would have become a translator. We are not sure about the result. And finally, if she had gone to university, she could have become a teacher. So what does this mean? If she had gone to university, she would have been able to become a teacher. She would have had the ability to become a teacher. It completely depends on her. Becoming a teacher would have been just an option for her, so it would have been possible for her. 
Now, let's compare the second conditional with the third conditional. We had a separate lesson about the second conditional, but because it may be a little confusing for some learners, I want to make sure that you have understood the points. If I had won the lottery, I would have bought a house. If I won the lottery, I would buy a house. The same example with the second conditional. If clause past simple, main clause would plus infinitive. If clause past perfect, main clause would have plus past participle. These sentences are both about me and my imagination about buying a house, but there is quite a big difference between them. When it comes to the third conditional, we are imagining a different past. Third conditional is the only conditional which refers to the past. So, the condition is impossible because it didn't happen in the past and we cannot change the past. We use third conditional just to imagine a different past. And here we have the second conditional and we are describing an unlikely situation in the present or future. The condition is not impossible, but it is very unlikely. Between thousands of people, the probability of winning for me is something like 1%, but still, it is possible. It is one of the uses of the second conditional. Second conditional sometimes talks about completely unrealistic situations, but again, it is for the present and future. Unlike the third conditional, it has nothing to do with the past time. Okay, everyone, we have covered all the important points about the third conditional. If you have any questions, you can always drop us comments. Thanks for supporting and watching this video. See you soon.